In 1851, August Marriott, a French Egyptologist, approached a towering formation of boulders in preparation to blast them with explosives. The subsequent detonation revealed an extraordinary subterranean labyrinth, dating back over 3,000 years, adorned with mysterious stone moxes. These enigmatic containers presented a seemingly unsolvable puzzle. Marietta stumbled upon peculiar buried boxes in Egypt, leaving scientists puzzled about their origins. One notable discovery was made at the Serapium of Saqqara, an ancient burial ground located about 15 miles south of Giza, renowned for its pyramids. The underground burial chamber consisted of a tunnel-like structure carved into the rock of a mountain. Adjoining the passageway was a series of chambers or alcoves containing immense stone boxes. The Seraphim's distinguishing feature was the monumental size and impeccable symmetry of these receptacles, carved meticulously with straight lines. Unfortunately, most of the 25 boxes had been looted by grave robbers, leaving one question unanswered their intended purpose. The creation of these colossal boxes would have required significant effort, suggesting that the Egyptians had a specific purpose in mind. However, the exact purpose remained unknown. Before delving into the perplexing items further, let's explore Marriott himself. Born in 1821 in boulin sur mer a French seaside town overlooking the English Channel, Marriott received a commission from the French government in 1850 to search for historic manuscripts from various traditions, including Arabic, Syriac, Coptic, and Ethiopian. His mission involved acquiring these artifacts for the esteemed French museum collections. Unfortunately, Marriott's initial journey to Egypt in 1850 did not yield the manuscripts he sought due to his lack of experience in such endeavors. Refusing to return empty-handed, Marriott sought an alternative discovery that would bring him recognition. Through interactions with local Bedouin tribes, he stumbled upon a remarkable find that would etch his name in history. The Bedouins led Marriott to Saqqara, a vast site south of Cairo, which served as the necropolis for the city and the former capital, Memphis. Saqqara boasted renowned ancient Egyptian structures, including the famous Step Pyramid of Djoser, Initially unimpressed by the barren desert landscape, Marriott's attention was caught by the head of a sphinx emerging from the ground. Legend had it that this sphinx was once part of a grand collection of 600 such sculptures, leading to the Serapium of Saqqara. Guided by this information, Marriott began his search near the Pyramid of Djoser, tracing a line of statues that potentially led to the entrance of the Serapium. Strengthening his belief, Marriott referred to a description of the Serapium by the Greek historian Strabo in his book La Serapium to Memphis from 1882. Strabo's account mentioned a sandy place where wine-blown sand dunes partially buried sphinxes, implying a hazardous path to the temple during sandstorms. Marriott felt convinced that he had discovered the buried sphinxes mentioned by Strabo, forming part of the avenue leading to the Serapium. Determined not to let others claim credit and profit from exploring this temple, Marriott resolved to excavate the site. To accomplish his excavation, Marriott enlisted a team of workers. Realizing that mere human labor would not suffice, he resorted to explosives to break through the rock barrier obstructing the entrance to the Serapium. Although this method may appear perilous and contrary to modern archaeological standards, it was a common practice in mid-19th century Egypt, where archaeological competition was fierce. In 1850-51, Marriott finally stood at the entrance of the Serapium of Saqqara and embarked on his exploration. Inside the tunnel, Marriott discovered a treasure trove of ancient bronze tablets, statues, and tombs. Unfortunately, Grave robbers had beaten him to most of these finds, leaving behind only one intact sarcophagus. However, Marriott unearthed a nearly intact tomb belonging to Prince Kem, who reigned as pharaoh from 1279 BC until his death in approximately 1213 BC at the age of about 90. Remarkably, Kem's sarcophagus had been found beneath the rock debris caused by the blast. Fortunately for Marriott, the item had emerged almost intact. Inside the coffin, the mummified remains of Kimwizit, 
adorned in a spectacular manner, were found. The pharaoh's face was covered with a gold mask, and his body was adorned with luxurious jewelry. The tomb also contained lavish grave goods. Now let's delve into the mysterious stone boxes. These enigmatic objects were discovered within the Seraphim of Saqqara, which is divided into two parts, the principal corridor and chambers, known as the Greater Vaults, and a second passage with alcoves, known as the Lesser Vaults. Both areas were carved from solid sandstone bedrock. The Greater Vaults, extending over 1,100 feet, were ordered to be built by Prince Kem himself when he was still a prince under his father, Pharaoh Ramses I. Later, Pharaoh Psamtik I ordered the construction of the lesser vaults. The boxes found in the chambers were large granite containers with removable lids, weighing around 60 to 80 tons each, carved from a single slab of granite. The precision of the carving was remarkable, with the lids fitting perfectly onto the stone below. While the large sarcophagi discovered by Mariette were empty, their purpose was not immediately apparent. However, a study of Egyptian religious beliefs and practices at the time shed light on their true purpose. These enormous boxes served as coffins for the ritual internment of deceased sacred bulls, known as Apis bulls. These bulls were considered to be incarnations of the gods Osiris and Apis, and were believed to become immortal in death forming a combined deity called Serapis. The Serapium at Saqqara was a place where both humans and animals, particularly the sacred bulls, were buried. This cult of Serapis carry over from ancient Egyptian dynasties into the Hellenistic era when the Greeks ruled Egypt during the Ptolemaic kingdom. Pharaoh Ptolemy, Isoter ordered that both Egyptians and Greeks worship Serapis, aiming to unite the two factions under a common deity. Another Serapium was even constructed in Alexandria, the Egyptian port city, to reinforce the cult's influence. However, some doubts persist regarding the purpose of the giant granite boxes. One theory suggests that they were not sarcophagi for the sacred Apis bulls but had a different function. Antoine Gigel, a French explorer, points out the unusual size of the boxes and the absence of mummified animals inside. Deagle visited the tombs herself and found aspects of the stone boxes puzzling. She suggests that the boxes might have served a different purpose, although she does not offer an alternative explanation. Other alternative theories have been proposed, such as the idea that the boxes were left on Earth by extraterrestrial beings or that they served as giant electrical batteries. However, these theories lack substantial evidence and remain speculative. In conclusion, while the most likely explanation is that the granite boxes were indeed used as sarcophagi for the sacred Apis bulls, there is still an air of mystery surrounding these monumental artifacts. The exact purpose and significance of the boxes continue to intrigue researchers and historians. Subscribe to the channel for more updates.